I don't know. Australia. 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 He hit me with something. There were two lads running up the road there, running away probably. There's money. Describe them. Black lads, blue tracksuit one of them lads, one with a bag. And about how old? Early twenties. She's pregnant. Looks like she's taking a boat to the All units from 595, repurchase road. Two possible suspects seen heading north three or four minutes ago. Mr Phillips is the duty solicitor, we'll call him then. All this fuss over a bit of blow. Yeah, it's not legal, Adrian, is it? Should be. Yeah, all right, Nick. Enough of that. Get him in number one. How's things? Quiet, really. Two prisoners. Yeah, Denton's about to be bailed, and that just leaves Adrian Finch. How much cannabis did he have on him? Oh, an ounce, maybe a bit more. He'd have to supply someone else then. Yeah, he thinks he's supposed to be cautioned, though. Funny, they all think that these days. They could be anywhere by now, Mike. Two icy threes, one blue tracksuit. There. That could be them. What are they up to? Excuse me! Excuse me, please, gentlemen! Would you mind telling us where you've just been? What's the problem? Tell us what you've been doing, please. That's our business. Why are you out of breath? Been jogging. There's been an incident. Yeah. And you fit the description of those involved. Turn out your pockets, please. Look, what? what is this about? Yeah, and that, mate. Let go of it. Let go. It's mine! How much is there? If it's yours, how much is there? It's a simple enough question. What's your name? OK, what's your name? Patrick Christian. Where's the bag? What's bad? This is nothing to do with you. You shut your face, right? That's right, I'm arresting you both on suspicion of robbery. You ain't arresting no one! Get the hell! Get your arm out! Arm! Oh. Arm out! Yeah! Right, Mr. Denton, that's Wednesday the 10th. It's on the back of your sheet. Look, I ain't done nothing, right? I ain't done shut nothing! Shut it! I ain't done nothing! I ain't done nothing! Quiet, shut please. it! Get these things off of me! If you struggle less, it'll hurt less. Robbery, Sarge. Purchase road. About 20 minutes Get ago. my brief. Will you be quiet, please, for one minute? Tony. Young female, Sarge. Pregnant. She's on her way to St Hugh's. Said she had a bag stolen. Yeah, we found this on him. He can't account for it, and he doesn't know how much there is. Well? All right, get him searched. I ain't done those robbery. Get my solicitor. You hold on. I'm wasting your time. Get my brief. I'm saying nothing. Then shut up. Thank you, Tony. Tony Lawrence, Sarge. This one's Patrick Christian. OK, one at a time. Mr Lawrence, your address, please. 14 Ashburton House on the Larkmead. Date of birth? 5th of June, 74. As you seem to know already, you have the right to free Thomas legal... Thomas Peel! 534 And you have the right to have someone notified of your arrest and to consult the codes of practice, but I'm sure you know that already. Mr Christian. Date of birth, 21st of the 3rd, 76. As you heard me tell Mr Lawrence, you have the right... Peel's is brief as well. Oh. Helen? The police are here to see you now. Hello. Hello. I'm sorry, I can't see too well. I'm Jim Carver from Sun Hill. Do you feel able to talk about what happened to you? I was on my way to the post office. One last night at Bingo. How much did you win? Two hundred pounds. Do you remember exactly how much money you had on you when you were robbed? One hundred and eighty pounds. In twenties, all of it. Were they all new issue notes then? Pretty sure they were, yeah. From the bingo club. So what? What actually happened? I was walking down to the bus. And this lad, he was a black lad, just appeared from nowhere. Tried to pull my bag. I tried to stop him, but 
but he just stood there and hit me with something. You're saying you only saw one? Yeah, thank God. I can see his face now. It's all right. We can sort it. Now, are you sure you didn't see anyone else running away? I think so. Thanks, Helen. I need you get some rest now. It would help our inquiries, sir, if we could check up on your cash deliveries from the bank. Sure. Well, we might be able to link Helen's winnings with a suspect we've got at some point. What, you got them already? We hope so. I'll have to take a look at the paperwork in the office. Thanks, sir, ladies and gentlemen, please, for your first game. All your cash prizes in your notes, then? Small wins, yeah. That's a nice touch, that's all. Punters love it. Is there any way we can tie in last night's prize money to a specific delivery? Sorry. I thought as much they could have come from the bank any time. Look, it was only £20 notes, though, I can tell that. Can I have a copy of this, please, Mr. Grimes? Sure, no problem. Hey, that doesn't count, right? What if they do, then what? Oh, shut it! What's all that about, then? He doesn't like being locked up. Shut it, OK? Oi. Your water. Can you keep the noise down, please, Mr. Christian? Sorry. Do you want this? It's only water. Your solicitor, Tom Peel, says he never heard of you. Probably hasn't. So what's your mate going on about then, in being your brief? No, please, don't do that. Never been locked up before. Get claustrophobic. Honest. All right, but any noise and it's shut. Lawrence has got phone for robbery and wounding. Assault with intent to rob is a nasty piece of work. Christian's clean. I can understand Lawrence attacking anybody. But Christian, why would he suddenly start doing things like this? There's nothing on the cash, Gov. It cannot be traced. This has just come through from Barton Street. Thanks, Jim. So what have we got? We don't even know whether they were both involved. She only saw the one, Gov. The witness, Jack Talbot, thinks he saw two lads running up the road. And he's due in to make a statement? Yep, any minute. Good. But we don't have any witnesses to the actual robbery. No. And I can't see us getting a positive ID from Helen Waring either. Forensic? There's not much chance without the bag or the weapon. We might find Waring's prints on the money. It's 180 pound in new notes stashed away on Lawrence. It's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? It's not enough. Tom Peel's there, though. He'll be lucky to get beyond committal. There have been two similar assaults in the last two months, both in East London, both on young female victims. Hit in the face, the doctors reckon, with a hammer. Now, a witness made a video of it, picture on the computer. It's not unlike Tony Lawrence, is it? He's up to his neck in it. And I want to nail him. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. I'm solicitor for Adrian Finch. Uh -huh. Blimey. That's what you died a couple of years ago. Very funny. If you don't mind, sir, I was dealing with this gentleman. He doesn't mind. Listen, love, just tell Jack Meadows Tom Peel's here. So you didn't actually see the robbery? Nah, just saw that two lads scarping up the road. Two lads? Now, you are sure about that? Listen, I might be getting on a bit, but I've not seen all. I know what I saw. Sorry, I wasn't doubting you, Mr Talbot. I just want to make sure that I've got it down correctly in your statement. About 20 yards up the road when I saw her. Ran up the clappers, they did right up to the top. Over the junction with Lionfield Street? That's it. Lost sight of them then. Two minutes later, your boys turn up. Do you think you might be able to recognise them again? Either of them? Don't think so. I never got to see their faces, you see. Right, you're going to be interviewed now, Adrian. Have you had enough time with your solicitor? Hmm, I suppose so. Mr Phillips? Thank you, Sergeant. Ample time. Right, Nick, you're going to have to use interview room two. Mr. Deacon's going to be in one. Right, sir. I'm sorry for the slight delay, Mr. Peel. What appears to be the problem? Our DCR Meadows feels there's a conflict of interest between Lawrence and Christian. What conflict's this, then? Well, we think that Mr. Christian should be separately represented. He may be under pressure. Hold on. Are you saying there's been some questioning of my clients already before they've had access to a solicitor? <sighs> no, there hasn't. I'm just telling you that it might not be in the prisoner's best interests for you to represent both of them. Well, that's a new one. Sunhill now preoccupied with their prisoner's best interests, are they? All right, if you want to be like that. I'm here to do my job, Mr. Carver. Shall we get on with it? <coughs> D. 
Did you take part in a robbery this morning of a young woman on Purchase Road? Do you know Tony Lawrence? Well, do you? It's a simple enough question. It would be easier if you don't wish to reply to my questions if you were to answer no comment. My client is perfectly entitled to remain silent. I want you to think very carefully. Because the victim was seriously injured. She was attacked with some sort of a weapon. Do you carry a weapon, Patrick? No comment. Why? The hammer. Did you use it? Tony Lawrence has done this sort of thing before, but then you'd know that, wouldn't you? Because you're a mugger too. It's what you do, isn't it? Isn't it? Let me spell it out for you, Patrick. You met Lawrence this morning, you waited with him outside the flats on Purchase Road, and then together with Lawrence, you attacked and robbed a pregnant woman. You thought it'd be easy, you got away with it before. Are you suggesting? Well, maybe it was just a bit of a dip in. I only, I only saw him. Mr. Christian is clearly upset. I'd like to have a private consultation with him. I'm sure you would. What were you saying, Christian? He needs a break. Do you need a break, Patrick? So your sight's going to be fine then, Helen? No, I'm all right. Well, the baby's all right. That's the main thing. Good. Is there anyone you'd like us to contact for you? You know, the father, perhaps? Some hope. No, it'll just be the two of us. Now, I know I've been through this before, but it's important. You only actually saw one of them rob you, is that right? I only saw one. But I was thinking, after you left earlier, there might have been someone else there. I'm just not sure. Problem then, Mr Peel. I can only tell you that as a result of what Christian has told me, I can't act for him. But you won't tell me why? I can't tell you why, Mr Dinkin, you know that. You'll continue to represent Lawrence? Yeah. Well, that's sorted then. Are you ready to interview Lawrence yet? No, I just need to have a quick word with the DCI. Uh, Bob, just to clarify the situation, Mr Peel here is now representing Lawrence only, so Christian will need a new brief. Oh, I see. Would you like to have a word with Lawrence in his cell? Yes, please. Things are beginning to move. Good. Christian sacked his brief. What? Peel's withdrawn from acting for him. Christian was starting to speak. Peel shut him up. Now, Peel is saying there's a conflict of interest between his clients and that he can no longer represent Christian. Well, let's see how he gets on with his new brief. Christian obviously wants to say something. Maybe Christian wants to confess. Talk, yes, confess. I'm not so sure about that. You want to have another look at the descriptions given by the witnesses of the last robbery of Barton Street and our witness, Jack Talbot. Not exactly the spitting image of Patrick Christian. Lawrence down to a T, but not Christian. But if Christian wasn't involved, why not just say so? Unless he's frightened of something. Or someone. You see, I reckon that whatever Christian told Peel, he's put Lawrence right in it, and now he doesn't know which way to turn. But Christian was seen running away. I'm not so sure about that. But if we can make Christian more frightened of the prospect of a few years inside than he is of Lawrence, then we can make use of him. But if Christian wasn't the second person that Talbot saw running away, who was? Christian's got the answers. Ask him. The £180 in your CD case, where'd that come from? How'd you get hold of that sort of money, eh? Ever owned a hammer, Tony? I'm sorry, is there something funny about that? For the benefit of the tape, Mr Lawrence was smiling. Nothing funny about it if you're smashed in the face with it and you're a pregnant woman, is there? You hit her in the face with a hammer, didn't you? Are you saying you recovered the weapon used in this morning's robbery? We'll ask the questions. Thank you, Mr Peel. Anything to say for yourself, Tony? Have you got a problem, Mr Lawrence? You know, a problem. Is that why you attack defenceless women? Up you! Sit down! Now, wait a minute. Has your client got something to say? For the benefit of the tape, Mr Lawrence is now standing facing the wall. Have you got anything to say for yourself, Tony? Why don't you get it into your thick head? I'm not saying nothing, Roy. I don't propose to continue with this interview at the moment, but I will be asking you some more questions later. You've got nothing. And you know it. Great. Yeah. Yeah, thanks very much. Oh, Gov, that was the consultant over at St Hughes. Helen Waring seems determined to turn up for the RD parade in the morning. Good for her. But so far, Peel's advised Lawrence not to stand. So we'll have to wait and see what line Christian's new brief is going to take. Yeah. Yeah, we're still hoping to set the idea up for 11 tomorrow morning. What's the score with Lawrence? He's worried that we might have found the weapon. Have we? No. Sarge, Adrian Finch, any solicitor, interview finished. Uh, them two that's in for robbery, are they going to get off? What's it to do with you? 
Well, am I going to be charged? Well, there's clear evidence of possession, Sarge, if nothing else. Yeah, it seems like me. Right, well, can I just have a quick word with Mr Phillips then, please, in private? It's a bit late for that, isn't it? What's the problem? Well, you know, it's important. Yeah, all right. Go on, you can use my office. What was all that about, then? Search me, Sarge. Unless it's dawned on him that he's going to be charged. Hardly taking it seriously, though, is he? Yeah. Sarge, I've got to have Christian out again. His new brief's here. Um, you've got a Patrick Christian in for robbery. Yeah, what's the problem? I think I'd better speak to the officer in the case. Well, I'm DC Carver. I'm involved in the case. My client would like a word with you. DC Carver. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know that Patrick Christian. Recognised his voice. He used to go to my school. And the Lawrence brothers. That was one of them in the uh, other cell, wasn't it? Well, basically... Uh, just a sec. My client's got some very useful information for you, Mr Carver. He's prepared to help you, but uh, he'd like to keep his clean record. If you've got something to say, just say it. Yeah, well, you scratch my back and all that. No, thanks. Just a minute, please. Go on. So, well, you don't really want to know where the bag and the hammer are then? <laughs> Mr Collins, I'm here for Patrick Christian. I'm DCR Meadows. Can I have a quick word, then I'll show you through to this cell. Gov? I'm sorry, Gov. This is important. Could you give me a minute? Thank you. Christian's been talking to Lawrence. One of the prisoners in the cells recognised Christian's voice. We're in with a chance of finding the weapon in the bag. Well, what are you waiting for? Apparently they bring the purchase road bins over here to empty them. Tosh! Yes? We should get a decent set of prints off that. So, do you feel better after your break, Patrick? Mr Meadows, my client so, now wish. I think we've got a result in this one, so... Thank you, Matthew. Tosh and Jim will be back in a couple of minutes. Something's just cropped up, gentlemen, so if you could just give me five minutes. Uh, hold on, Mr Meadows. He wants to talk to you about the robbery. Saw him. Tony and his brother, Joseph. He ran off the other way. Joseph Lawrence. He's a right thug. So how long's he been back in Sunhill? I think he got released from some prison up north. Dunno. Couple of months. Right, well I think we better have this on tape. Hello, Adrian. <clears throat> That's your lot. Back here in four weeks. Sorry? What's he mean, back here? Police man. Just routine. Oh, I ain't gonna be charged though, am I? Can't say. Come on. If it weren't for me, I'm your star witness, innit? I? Really? Hold on, you, you said there's no way they're going to charge me, even they're not that thick. That's what you said. I didn't actually say that. Look, nobody's saying... No, George sorry. I don't remember you saying anything about coming back here in four weeks, huh? You're right good you are, aren't you? What are you standing there for, anyway? Go on, shove off. Go and mess up someone else's case, you All right, know. calm down, Adrian. You may well not be charged. you just got to wait and see. <sighs> Why didn't you tell us this before, Patrick? I couldn't. Tony and Joseph used to bully me and my brother. When was that the Harvey Wallace? I mean, really bully. They both had cases. And that solicitor bloke, the other one, he said, keep quiet. He said that Tony would get to know if I told you anything. He won't, will he? We'll try and avoid it. you come this far, you've done the right thing. We want to take him off the streets as well. They're still vicious bullies. Only now it's young women. Even pregnant ones. I didn't know that she was pregnant. I didn't even know that they hit her. Not until I got here. There's some railway arches on Loftus Street. There's a gambling club underneath. Joseph practically lived down there. Watch it. Joseph always carries a knife. 
Hey, Jim. Can you two cover the back? It's just the railway track. Yeah. Meadows from Carver? Go ahead, Jim. We're all set, Gov. Watch it. He's likely to be tooled up. Right, Gov. Through this, how long is this going to take? You've got to either release me or charge me. Ain't that right, Mr. Peel? Some further matters have come to light. Now, who actually snatched the bag? No comment. Was it you? You've already asked these questions. Look, I'll not tolerate any further interruptions in this interview. Is that clear, Mr. Peel? I don't know what you're talking about, anyway. Come on, in you get. Come on. Straight ahead. Come on. What is this? You're going to try and stitch me up? Joseph Lawrence, I presume? Yes, Sarge. The Purchase Road robbery. Arrested ten minutes ago. Acting on information received. He's my brother here. Now, what makes you think that? Just get my brief. I bet you 20 quid he's here already. I'm showing the suspects a small club hammer with a wooden handle. Exhibit JC2. Have you ever seen this before, Tony? I'm now showing the suspects a black leather shoulder bag. Exhibit JC3. Have you ever touched either of these two items? I ain't saying anything else. This is the hammer that you used to smash into the face of a young pregnant woman, isn't it? I found it, right? I found it. I didn't know what happened. Some guy ran away. He must have heard the police come in. He ran up through the flats, right? He threw it on the ground and I just picked it up, took the money and threw the bag in the bin. That's it, right? Let's just clarify this, shall we? See, I want to be sure of which version you want us to believe. Which is the one where the bag was lying on the ground and you saw somebody running away. That's it. That's what happened. Me and Patrick picked it up. You're lying. See, somebody saw you with the bag running up Purchase Road and then into the flats. And somebody else saw you throw the bag into a bin. It was you, Tony. No mistake. Yeah. Prove it. We will. You were seen, both of you. You and your brother. Joseph's just been arrested. Sit down, Mr. Lawrence. Don't say any more, Mr. Lawrence. He doesn't have to. We've got more than enough evidence to charge him. <laughs> 